Nikolai Fishing, an artist from the early 20th century, was much more than just a painter. Born in a small village in Russia in 1881, Fishing's early life was filled with struggle and hardship. But these experiences would shape his art in profound ways. Growing up in a poor farming family, Fishing found solace in his love for drawing. With limited resources, he taught himself to create stunning artworks using simple tools and whatever materials he could find. His talent didn't go unnoticed, and at the age of 19, he was accepted into the prestigious Imperial Academy of Fine Arts in St. Petersburg. Fishing's time at the academy honed his skills and exposed him to a variety of artistic styles. But it was his later travels through Europe and the United States that truly shaped his unique artistic voice. Experiencing the rich cultures and diverse landscapes, Fishing's art began to reflect a blend of influences and personal experiences. One of the notable works from this period is The Reclining Nude from 1920. In this painting, we can see Fishing's mastery in capturing the human form, its curves, and shadows rendered with a remarkable level of sensitivity. During the late 1920s to the mid-1930s, Fishing delved into portraiture, showcasing his talent in capturing the essence of his subjects. One such masterpiece is the portrait of a smiling young girl, painted between 1928 and 1937. This work exudes joy and innocence, as if the girl's laughter could jump off the canvas. Another compelling portrait is the portrait of a woman from 1932 to 1935. Here, Fishing's use of vibrant colors and bold brush strokes brings the woman's personality to life. You can almost feel her presence through the canvas. In the 1930s and 1940s, Fishing continued to explore the human form and captured various individuals in his portraits. The portrait of a boy, painted between 1930 and 1940, exhibits Fishing's ability to convey the youthful energy and curiosity of his subject. Fishing's connection with his sitters is evident in portraits such as Portrait of Ida Heard Lord from 1930 and Portrait of Rowena Martinez Myers from 1928. Each brushstroke seems to uncover their innermost thoughts and emotions, making their personalities shine through. Through his art, Fishing also paid tribute to the indigenous cultures he encountered during his travels. The portrait of an old Indian man from 1927 to 1933 is a testament to his ability to capture the wisdom and dignity of his subjects. As Fishing's career progressed, he continued to paint captivating portraits such as Portrait of Ellen from 1930 to 1940 and Portrait of a Bearded Old Man from the same period. In these works, Fishing's brushwork becomes bolder, adding depth and character to each face he portrays. Nikolai Fishing's life experiences and his constant exploration of the human form resulted in a body of work filled with emotion, color, and a deep understanding of his subjects. His art speaks volumes about the human condition, capturing the beauty and resilience found in our shared experiences.